Okay, yeah. we're gonna do a measurement of the of the fat bed of the heel. Uh, but first I will uh, mark a little bit of my location. So this will be my location for the short axis view here of the um, calcaneal bone. A little bit of plantar fascia over here. And this is just all fat layer. Okay, now I want to use a little bit more of the ultrasound gel. Some extra layer. And then I want to keep the extra layer actually in between my probe and the skin. If I do that, then I know for sure that I don't use any pressure. So if I use this one and make an, uh, a dual screen, let's see where I can do that. Um, dual screen. Oh, I have to check this. Uh, oh yeah, I have found it. Okay. This one is totally without pressure. And now I stay at the same image. You see my, uh, my finger is, uh, is making contact with the skin so I don't lose the, the position that I have over here. So this is the same image. And now I'm putting pressure, pressure, pressure. More pressure, more pressure, more pressure. Till there's no more collapsing of the, of the fat bed possible. And then I freeze. Okay, now I want to, to, to see if the uh, the thickness of the fat bed here compared to here. Okay, so I will use the measurement tool and I will measure from here because this is the all the skin layers. It's really thick underneath the heel. So this is the skin layers. So we start from the hyperechoic region and then we set it and we scan it until here because this little layer here is the plantar fascia. So it's 1.14. Okay, set it. And here we do the same. So from the position that it becomes hyperechoic, because the, the, the lines above are the, the, the skin layers, and just set it and put the marker here also, above the plantar fascia. And then I freeze it, I set it again. So it's now the, the fat bed index is 0 0.44 and then uh, 1.15. So it's somewhere around, I think, 40% or something, 40%. Yeah, so 40% fat bed index. A normal fat bed index should be around 50%. And the lower the index, the more you can compress the fat bed and the more it can pot potentially irritate structures around mm -hmm. the calcaneus.